Welcome to the Managing Partners Forum North America. I'm Larry Stroud. The forum's latest webinar today is entitled Dealing with the Underperforming or Misbehaving Partner. What is your best estimate of the proportion of misbehaving partners at a typical firm? 15% range <clears throat> overall. Let's go to the second question. What would you consider to be a realistic target for the proportion of underperforming partners? Oh, lower, more in the uh, maybe 5 8% range. What do you think, folks? Any comments on the results as you see them there? I don't know if, if um, anyone else has been following what's happening at McKinsey, but um, and the ousted leader, and it really just strikes me how easily that could happen in many, maybe most law firms, it's really challenging to um, set expectations and adhere to them with a group of autonomous, independently focused people. Um, and it, it's very, very challenging from a leadership perspective. I, I mean, I remember going to a firm not so long ago who, who, who said, um, oh, we're putting in this partner into performance management. Uh, what do, you, what do you mean by that? Oh, because he's underperforming. So, so there was this sort of vibe that that, um, that 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 a performance management system is only for those who have a less than um, average performance. Uh, whereas I, my view is that you you should have a performance management system for all partners. It, it sets the standards. In some cases, you have folks who have tremendous client relationships. And they won't let other partners within that client relationship. So there's there, there's a lack of collaboration. There's a belief this this client has to work with me because they love me. So there's no sharing. Um, and and it and in some cases there's blocking and tackling. They will not allow other people uh, to work in that firm. So Angie talked about this. It's like the client belongs to the individual as opposed to the client truly belonging to the firm. I I think there is a tendency to to think about these things when there's a problem. Right. And rather than be reactive to the problem, what we've tried to do is is build a culture where, you know, we want everyone to take it to the next level. We want to raise the bar for every single partner. Um, and and so while we want, you know, behavior standards and citizenship standards and and those types of things, there's a minimum expectation for those. But what we really try to focus on is how do we get people to take it to the next level? personally surprised that the personal problems uh, was so low in terms of uh, three most common causes. That's the one yeah. that I always hear is number one, personal problems. You know, they, they're substance abuse, uh, they're, they're burned out, uh, got matrimonial discord, whatever it may be. And it's the one that we don't dive a little bit deeper into. It's not what is going on, it's why is it happening. And